For a video on the top 40 upcoming RPGs and adventure games, I'll leave a link below in the video description so you can check that out after this video. But for now, let's talk about upcoming survival sandbox games. This might be the most interesting top upcoming games type of video that I've ever done, as some of these games are very interesting and intriguing to say the least. Let's jump right in. Lost and alone in the dangerous labyrinth of fantastical worlds. Nightingale is an upcoming first-person shared world survival crafting game set in an all-new fantasy Victorian themed world. Not gonna lie to you guys, in my opinion this was the most exciting of the world premieres at the Game Awards 2021. It's currently a PC-only game according to the official website, and testing for the game is set to begin sometime in 2022. The company behind this game is a new studio from an ex-Bioware general manager, and the studio is called Inflection Games. In Nightingale, players will venture through portals where adventure and mystery awaits across a myriad of beautiful and increasingly dangerous worlds. Players will be traversing foreboding forests, harrowing swamps, shimmering deserts, and more attempting to restore portals leading deeper into the lands of the Fae. I guess the idea is that players are stranded and lost in the Fey realms, and you'll be searching for a way back to the last haven of humanity, which is Nightingale. As you can see in the trailer, you will be building estates, farms, and communities to live off of the land. And of course, crafting tools, gear, and weapons is going to be essential to your survival. On the official website, it also mentions that you can play solo or with friends and other players who you meet across the realms. So it'll definitely be interesting to see where and how far they take this shared world concept. Other than that, at this time, there's not really much else out there on this game, but I'll be sure to keep a close eye on it and let you all know the latest news. Arc 2 is an upcoming multiplayer survival sandbox game set in a prehistoric sci-fi era. It will be launching on the Xbox Series X and S and PC, and the release time is currently planned for sometime in 2022. Whether that will be early access or the full launch, we're not really sure. This game is a sequel to Studio Wildcard's first Arc game, Arc Survival Evolved, which was an extremely successful sandbox survival game. And on that note, all of you PlayStation fans, the first arc did end up eventually coming to PlayStation, so just keep that in mind. Seeing Vin Diesel in the trailer makes you wonder if the game will be more story-adventure oriented. But according to the devs, the overall gameplay idea for Ark isn't set to change with the sequel, so I would still expect it to be a sandbox survival game first and foremost. I should also mention that Vin Diesel is supposedly a game nerd and a big time player of the first Ark game. In Arc 2, you will of course be gathering materials, crafting, building your base, and taming and fighting dinosaurs, sometimes even players, in order to help ensure your survival. When building your base to protect your hard-earned supplies, you can turn it into a part dino zoo if you so please, and even ride and breed your prehistoric pets. There will likely be different types of servers to play on, ranging from large PvP servers constantly engaged in tribal wars, to PvE-focused servers where damage is disabled from player to player. If it's like Arc 1, you should also be able to play solo where time will stop the game when you log off, and of course also play on a small server with just a handful of friends. Don't expect this game to hold your hand every step of the way, so be ready to figure out mechanics on your own through lots of death. This is definitely a survival game to keep an eye on, it will be exciting to see what Studio Wildcard is capable of when using the latest Unreal Engine 5. Void Train is an upcoming single-player and up to four-player online co-op first-person open-world survival game set on an infinite railway in the clouds. More on that in a minute. As of now, it is only planned for a PC release with an official release time of sometime in 2022. 
The game is currently available to play in early access on the Epic Games Store, and the company behind this game goes by the name of Nirga. Nirga's idea behind Void Train is in quotes, a fresh take on the survival genre. You control and upgrade your own train in an endless adventure full of surprises and dangers, end quote. So in this game, you'll be playing as a mechanic and you'll start off with just a tiny trolley. As you progress, you can expand, customize, and even choose the type of engine between different eras, whatever that means. There will be plenty of secrets, puzzles, and other challenges, and also a ton of outlandish creatures to meet, or fend off, because as you can see, flying sharks apparently like to attack the train. Gathering and researching resources will be essential for crafting useful items, which includes weapons, and building structures to aid in your survival. Along the way, you may come across enemy trains, you'll discover train stations, and also mysterious islands where you can hunt the creatures that inhabit them. This is certainly a very, very unique game, and I'm tempted to try it out in early access myself, but at the very least, I'll be keeping a close eye on this one. Sons of the Forest is an upcoming first-person solo or multiplayer open-world horror survival game that places you in a society of cannibalistic mutants. It seems as if it will be launching on only PC, but consoles or a console release I think would be likely at some point, and it has a release date of May 20th of 2022. We don't have much info on this game yet, but it is a sequel to End Night Games' first survival game called The Forest. It's unclear how big of a role story will play in this game, but it looks like this time around you will be the survivor of a helicopter crash. You'll have to survive in a mysterious, beautiful, and horrific forest and face off against, like I said before, cannibalistic mutants. You'll be using weapons such as guns, tasers, crossbows, axes, and sometimes even just sticks to fend these creatures off. And when you're not fighting for your life, expect to be building up a strong base and also crafting plenty of items. And that's really all we have right now on the game as of now, but considering that the release is not far off, I expect to see some more over the coming months. The trailer looks incredible. One of the main reasons why I needed chapter markers in this video is so you guys can skip over this one. Valheim. And the reason why I say that is not because it's a bad game, it's the opposite of that. Most of you have probably already played or at least know exactly what this game is, as it did release in early access in February of 2021, and well, it basically took over the internet. I played it a bit myself, and I have to say that it was an amazing experience. For those of you unfamiliar, Valheim is being developed by a company by the name of Iron Gate AB. And as of now, it is only a PC game, but I don't see why it wouldn't come to consoles at some point in the future. The official release for Valheim is said to be in 2022 at the earliest. Valheim is a beautiful exploration and survival game for 1 to 10 players, and it's set in a procedurally generated purgatory, heavily inspired by Viking culture. You have to gather resources, craft tools and powerful weapons, fight mighty bosses, and of course, severely damage your IRL relationships in an attempt to build the mightiest longhouse of them all. The game's graphics are not good, but at the same time, they're the best. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's just how it is. I highly recommend this game, especially to those of you who love base building, as the possibilities are endless. And I would imagine that the devs will continue to add to it and perhaps even give us something really special for the actual official release. The Day Before is an upcoming third-person open-world MMO survival game set in a deadly post-pandemic America. F the game will be launching on PC with a release date of June 21st of 2022, but the devs also said that PS5 and Xbox Series X versions are on the way. The company behind this game is Fantastic. 
There's no A after the F, in case you were wondering. The version of America in this game is an America overrun by flesh-hungry infected, and survivors killing each other for food, weapons, and cars. So this obviously means the game has quite a lot of PvP in it, but it will also have plenty of PvE content, and you can of course team up with other players. That's pretty much all that we have on this game right now. While on the topic of MMOs, Bitcraft is an upcoming third-person procedurally generated survival sandbox MMORPG. This game will be launching on PC, but there's no release date as of now. This game looks really unique, so I decided to include it on this list, even if some of you might be wondering if maybe it shouldn't be, I really don't even know myself. In Bitcraft, you'll awaken as a mystical being in the midst of an untamed wilderness. At first, it will be a struggle to survive, but eventually you'll be working together with other players to build an entirely new civilization. At this time, it's really hard to tell how serious the survival aspects will be in this game, but many articles do label it as a survival game. Players will be progressing their characters by practicing whichever skills they like, such as crafting, building, farming, and hunting, and players can also become highly active in their society by contributing to the growth of infrastructure, cities, and empires. Bitcraft promises crossplay in a gigantic, procedurally generated world that hosts every single player. I'm a bit confused as to what all this means, but I'm certainly very intrigued. The world was once wrought with chaos. Retreat to Enum is an upcoming first-person, single-player, open-world survival game set in a tropical environment. It'll be launching on PC with a release date of coming soon, and the company behind this game is called Head West. In this game, you'll be foraging, gathering, fishing, crafting, meditating, and exploring in the year 3600 CE. The catch, though, is that humanity has brought itself to the brink of extinction. Well, I don't know if that's really a catch, it's probably to be expected. And a new society has formed that has a new reverence for nature and the Earth's environment. As a rite of passage, you are sent to an island to live off the land, which will ultimately increase your connection to nature and make you more mindful. Huh? The goal of this game is actually to provide the most relaxing and engaging survival experience possible, and the devs even say on the Steam page that they consulted multiple mental health professionals to help aid in the direction of the game. It's not meant to be a stressful, horrific experience like many of the games on this list. On the island, you'll need to explore to locate new meditation points and gather enough resources to build the perfect camp. Everything you need to survive can be found here, and you'll start with basic traps and foraging tools, but eventually end up traveling the island by kayak, sleeping in huts with indoor fireplaces, and even soaking in handcrafted hot tubs. I really love the idea behind this game, let's hope it achieves what it's setting out to achieve, and make sure you have a good headset for it, because I think it's just one of those games. Shattered sky and boiling sea. Wizard with a Gun is an upcoming online, solo, or up to four player cooperative sandbox survival game set in a magical wilderness. It'll be launching on PC and Nintendo Switch and coming sometime in 2022. In this game, you'll be a wizard with a gun, and you can journey alone or with friends to collect, craft, and outfit your wizard however you see fit as you explore the unknown. You'll be carefully designing weapons, bullets, and furnishings for your tower home, but you have to be careful to not burn it all down as the magic you wield can escalate beyond your control. There will be plenty of resources to collect that allow you to craft unique items, and plenty of arcane mysteries and dangerous creatures that will interrupt your path. Apparently the game uses randomly generated biomes, as it says you can unleash cosmic power from your tower to reset the world and then find a new layout. Also be ready to experiment with new spell combinations to see how they affect enemies in the world around you. Like several of the other games on this list, this is certainly another unique one. The adventure of my life ended in my fight to survive. 
Star Sand is an upcoming single-player first-person mystic survival game set in basically a sandbox, or arcane desert as the devs call it. This game will be coming out on PC with no official release date, but it is currently available as an early access game on Steam as of November 4th of 2021. Star Sand offers an open world full of danger, vast environments, and mysterious happenings. You'll be exploring, hunting, crafting, and building, but most importantly, surviving. The reviews for early access are mostly positive, so it might be one to keep an eye on. Not many games go with the desert setting, so it's nice to see. Oh, good! You are not dead! Grounded is an upcoming first-person solo or up to four-player co-op survival game where you're shrunk to the size of an ant. It is currently available in early access on Xbox and PC, with an official release date planned for sometime in 2022. Since this game has been in early access for so long, I almost didn't want to put it on this list, but early access is still technically not an official release, so I included it. In Grounded, you will explore, build, and survive in a backyard. Shelter and tools are critical to your survival, so you have to build epic bases to protect you and your stuff from insects and the elements. There is crafting for weapons, tools, and armor, and of course plenty of fun to be had with human vs. insect combat. Since it's been in early access for so long, there's plenty of info and gameplay out there for you to dive into. Small Land is an upcoming third-person multiplayer open-world survival game that obviously looks similar to Grounded, with the biggest difference being that it is in third-person. This game will be launching on PC with a planned release date of coming soon, which will likely be early access, but it's also said to be coming to PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo. The company behind this game goes by the name of Merge Games. In Small Land, you'll be traversing lake-sized puzzles, scaling skyscrapers, no, skyscraper-sized trees, excuse me, battling and or taming creatures, and of course, doing a ton of exploration. You'll be crafting weapons and armor and also building encampments to protect yourself. That's about all we have, and despite it being similar to Grounded, I think it looks pretty fun. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to check out that video of the top 40 upcoming RPGs and adventure games, like I said before, I'll leave a link to that in the video description and also in the pinned comment. And it's also going to pop up at the very end of this video when I stop talking. And I'm going to stop talking now. So. Oh, this is awkward.